I think it's extremely important that students have an outlet outside of their academic work and their studies. Because our university experience shouldn't all be just about our studies. Our courses are an extremely important part of why we're here. But so is building the networks and building the friendships and the relationships while you're here. I think it's a fantastic way to meet people um, who like the same things as you. And also it's a great way to develop new skills and just learn new, new fun things. It's a really great opportunity to meet other people that are interested in like-minded things that you like. I wanted to join a study because I kind of wanted to just make new friends and be more integrated in my sort of university life because you're only here for three years, you know, I want to make the most of it. Um, and I've got people who I know from my course and people who I live with, but I thought, you know, I'd, if I'm here, I can sort of create a, be a bigger community for myself and I think that lasts a lot longer as well. We put on quite a lot of events. We are a very active society. We come to the lounge, we come to the Students' Union, and we sit here and we do karaoke, and we play pool, and we like, we, we, <laughs> we do quizzes. Everyone loves Kahoot. Our LGBT society also is really inclusive for individuals who haven't necessarily come out yet, or are exploring their identity and don't want to out themselves or aren't comfortable with it. We have a lot of people who come to uni and they come straight from school and they've not been in an environment where they're surrounded by queer people. And it's really great because they can come in and they can explore their identity without being judged. And I think that's a really important part of being part of our society, being part of LGBT, because I think that's how it should be. And unfortunately, these safe spaces aren't everywhere, but we create that safe space. For me, the best thing about Dungeons & Dragons society is how passionate people are. Um, we are, I believe at the moment, we might be one of the biggest societies on campus. We have this year, we were lucky enough to have over 70 members. We had over 70, 80 people come in Freshers Week to talk to us in our first events. And we managed to set up 12 groups of players. It's a really, really fun group and Dungeons & Dragons is a way to just escape your everyday life and role play and just have fun with your friends and you end up making really good lifelong friends from it, just like I have in the last three years of playing. The Psychology Society has three main streams to it. So there's the social aspect, which is just what you'd expect, going out for a drink, just hanging out and stuff. And then there's the academic aspect, which is we get guest speakers in practicing in psychology to come and help you with your career and your future to decide what you want to do and how you could get around achieving this. And then there's the well-being aspect which is we usually just go to somewhere like the lounge or in the student union, just places, public places and just do basic activities like colouring or making decorations and stuff just to help de-stress around assessment period. I enjoy being Vice President and being a part of the Society because it's helped me develop a loads of skills such as leadership skills because I used to be quite shy but now I'm a lot more confident and it's just helped me with my management and my organisation skills as well. People are always willing to help you whether it's with personal struggles or even with your academics. Some people specifically wanted to go into clinical psychology in the future so we spoke to some clinical psychologists and people currently doing their degree in clinical psychology and they came in and helped to guide them in their future. I love so much in our society that it's we meet different people out from our own class, our own cohort. They, are, they have different ideas and different um, uh, perspective of, of, of even the uh, subject social work. You don't have to be studying social work, you can study any other subject, but it, the goal was to um, join people together to meet new, new people and join with year threes and the MAs um, because, uh, and, and talking to them, discussing with them what issues that you've had and maybe they can help you as well because they might have gone through it. Because a lot of us are mums, um, you know, Emily's got Maddie there, who's quite young. Mine are a bit older, but so you're self-sufficient. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's really good because we can share the responsibilities within the society. We're unique in terms of the talks that we do because they're not every day. That's kind of how we started because yeah, there wasn't we, anything like that. We went like to that. Forensic Expo last year and we were like, let's start a society because we just gained like a massive portfolio of contacts and we were like, let's just contact them. If anyone's feeling nervous about joining the society, I recommend going along to Freshers' Fair where you can get some more information about it, but you can also email the societies and just talk to current and past members to see what they have to say about it. 
the main thing I would tell you is any club or society are going to be extremely welcoming because people want people to join. The, the committee are there to welcome you and to provide a safe and inclusive space to participate in whatever you want to participate in. And you'll probably find that most of the other people coming along are just as nervous as you are. Um, so I would say try not to let your nerves get in the way of having fun and these amazing experiences. And if you're really, really nervous and extremely anxious, you can always reach out to clubs and societies on their social medias of either Students Union page and ask them, um, hey, I'm feeling a bit nervous and the inclusions officers and the well-being officers will be able to give you advice and maybe meet you there beforehand. I know people that have joined and it's been the best decision of their life and they you know, they were nervous and they didn't know what was going to happen and they joined and it was really good. Even if you come in Freshers Week to the Taster events, I would encourage you to try as many as possible because everybody will be welcoming regardless of age, gender, sexuality, everyone is, most societies you will find are extremely inclusive places and clubs as well. Um, and I think you'll surprise yourself by what kind of things um, you might enjoy by putting yourself out of your comfort zone. It's given me uh, a separate platform away from from, from studying, away from my home, away from my children. It's just something that I have for my personal self where, where I can express how I feel about things that are going on within, within the community. It's, 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 it's a lovely uh, platform to have. It's given me a true sense of community um, here at Christchurch um, and it's just helped me become a more confident person. And as a mature student, I didn't think I would get to have that experience and I feel super lucky that I've been able to meet such wonderful people and have those experiences over the last three years.